Grows up to 12 feet long and a thousand pounds. Okay, look at these light posts on both sides of the road here. What are they missing? Yeah, no lights. These aren't light posts. These are actually guides for the snow plow trucks. In the wintertime, or even now, there's no cell phone or internet service here. That's where I hold you hostage. But they have to go old school. They can get as much as 10 feet of snow in one night. So when you get that much snow, you get vertigo. You don't know, go up from down, left from right. So they have to feel their way. Click, click, click. So they have to keep that tunnel open. The reason why they opened up that tunnel to car traffic in the year 2000, it used to only be train, is because the town of Whittier does not have a hospital. So if there's a medical emergency and the weather is bad like it normally is, you can't get a helicopter or airplane out of there. You have to use the tunnel to get the people out. So it was for their own safety. How far is Russia from Alaska? How far is it? The closest point that Russia is to Alaska, 2.4 miles between Little Diomede and Big Diomede. That's close. Yep, and everyone thinks Russia is way over there. Russia is our neighbor just like Canada is our neighbor to the east. Russia is our neighbor. So people got to take a boat to go across? A boat? People do. People do, but, uh, you know, especially when the war started, people were trying to leave Russia to come over there. <laughs> yeah. They're talking about building a bridge or a tunnel to, to cross to, to between Alaska and Russia. In the wintertime, the Bering Sea freezes up on the very top, and people actually can walk across. I have a story to tell you later once we get to the conservation I, I got to hit that one. Whoo! Yeah. Because you can, well, people walk the across. Bering sea, the big land mass to big land mass is 52 miles. 52 miles across. Mm -hmm. But the closest point, yeah, yeah. 2.4 miles between Little Diamond and Big Diamond. It's interesting. You could, you could walk between Russia and Alaska that fast. Yeah. <laughs> wow. But it's cold over there. Cold, better bundle up. It's cold here too. Same place. Same, same spot. <laughs> True. So when Russia owned Alaska, the most Russians ever lived here? 400. That was it. <laughs> and they came here and they didn't know about gold or oil or any of that stuff. They came here looking for fur. And it was for sea otter pelts. You see all those old pictures of Russians? They all had these big furry hats. Yeah. Those sea otter pelts have the most densest fur of any animal on the planet. One square inch is one million hairs. So Jeez. sea otters don't have a lot of fat, but their fur is so densely tight that it keeps them waterproof, that keeps them warm. So those Russians love those sea otter pelts. They thought that they had wiped out the whole sea otter population, and after that they're like, oh, you want to buy Alaska? We already have Siberia, we don't need Alaska too. Siberia is us? No, Siberia is in Russia. Oh, Russia, okay, okay. All right. Look through here. This is just a little appetizer. That is the Byron Glacier. See it in there? But you're going to get up close and personal. The only glacier, 12 out of the 13 glaciers are on the side of mountains. Those are called hanging glaciers. But Portage Glacier is the one that comes all the way down to the water. A lot of rules out here. Rules. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what the problem is, is everybody's looking at the beauty and not paying attention to driving. So that's the problem. <laughs> Yikes. That's why I say, don't, don't trust anyone. They're not looking right in front of them. They're looking all around. The sides is the must yeah. views. They're looking at the same stuff you have, but you have a guide that <laughs> tell you where, where to look and what to do. Oof. Like I said, I'll be going on the boat with you. So when you get on the boat, you want to take a left, and on the right side of the front of the boat, that the first four rows, those are the seats I want you guys to sit in. Those are the optimum seats. So we're going to pass the restroom here, right on the right-hand side. If you have to use the restroom, use the restroom here. Yes, please. Yep. <laughs> and then after you use the restroom, walk right down here, and I'll walk on the boat with you. <laughs> 